Over to you, Dr. Ng. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, web seminar. Actually, uh, uh, I'm the owner and for this uh, exporting of pigs to Singapore. Uh, of course, uh, I would like to share, since uh, we are successful in exporting, now how do we continue or how do we keep up our export? And then uh, what will be the challenges ahead? for our export industry. Now, as you all know, when we are successful in exporting our pigs, that means uh, our standard, our farm, the way we do husbandry, the way we do production, the way we do our biosecurity is a uh, sort of a step ahead of all the other local farmers. So how do we maintain this uh, momentum? So uh, the first, actually, when we first uh, met all the auditor from Singapore, the first question they asked is, is your production sustainable? You want to export to us, you must be exporting regularly, good quality products uh, at a sustainable manner. So how to be sustainable? So, so our, that questions come immediate to our mind, sustainable. Is the business sustainable? Is our farm management sustainable? Is our biocity control of the area sustainable? So uh, all this while after we are successful, we are looking at this sustain sustainability of our productions. Now, uh, when we talk about farm, our production system have to be improving every day. Disease, new diseases, all diseases that are not present in our state or in our farm will come in sometimes if we are not careful. So our productions, uh, our managers uh, all have to be very alert, make sure no new diseases come in and then uh, make sure we are very alert on what is happening in our surroundings, outside Malaysia, inside Malaysia, in Sarawak or in our BFA like this uh, age, recent outbreak of African swine fever in Asia, which uh, really threatened our uh, export industry. And then of course, uh, we are also very worried should the disease strikes, I think everybody will be in very bad shape. So over these years, uh, there are a lot of emphasis on biosecurity to prevent diseases from getting into our farm. Uh, that is on the disease side. And then on top of that, is our production uh, viable? Is our business viable? Knowing that we have competitors uh, from other parts of the world. Singapore basically buy from a lot of countries uh, beside Malaysia. Or actually they buy from all over the world, chill, or frozen. And then uh, of course, uh, we got to be competitive. And uh, we've got to provide an image. Our products are good, high quality, good for tests. So we have to be very good in that aspect on marketing side for us, for our business to be sustainable. And then on top of that, live pigs, sending a live pigs uh, from our farm all the way to Sing Jurong Port and then to the upper tour in Singapore is not an easy task. So we have to make sure every pig survive the journey from our farm all the way to the abattoir in Singapore and make sure they are alive in the next few days before they are slaughtered. On top of that, we should minimize injuries to the pigs and then uh, be broken legs, skin allergy, sunburn, anything can happen along the way. So we really have to minimize uh, injuries and on top of that, minimum mortality. Now pigs doesn't travel well you know, if they are hot. So we really have to keep the pigs cool, comfortable and make sure they eat and drink along the way. We cannot be starving them. You know, the journey takes uh, more than 50 hours uh, from our place. We should take up to 60 hours uh, to reach Singapore. So uh, we really have to take care of the pigs uh, along the way from our farm gate all the way to the abattoir. 
Now, uh, that is what uh, we talk about, what we can see. Now, when we, our pigs are in the slaughterhouse, the other thing we have to maintain the quality of our carcass, make sure there are no diseases that is uh, causing this uh, condemnation of carcasses or condem condemnation of organs. So we have to protect an image. We have to protect and our, our pigs are healthy, minimum disease, carry minimum diseases or infectious diseases in the first place or these are uh, some uh, lung lesions or which are uh, kidney, liver lesions that can indicate the health status of our pigs. So all this year we have been trying very hard to maintain the sustainable pig production in a farm, sustainable uh, delivery, and then uh, sustainable carcass quality, and then uh, sustainable business model. And of course, on top of that, we have to let all the Singaporeans uh, eat, who eat our pork uh, feel safe, and then uh, they have confidence, and then they think our products are good. And then of course, we still have to do quite a lot of uh, developments in order to increase our market shares in Singapore. Now we, we are facing quite stiff competitions from the point of market. Uh, and then of course, uh, we have to increase our vessel availability, production figures, and then uh, safety of our products. All this add up uh, is uh, very challenging, I would say, uh, and then uh, it's getting more and more challenging. On top of that, the recent COVID outbreak, and the lockdown, Malaysia, Singapore, cause uh, even more challenging because uh, not only the pigs must be free from diseases, our, our seller, those, uh, those uh, captain, everybody must be healthy and they must not contact any of this uh, COVID before they go to Singapore and then keeping all our semen safe from all the diseases. And then uh, of course, uh, they are semen are also very stressful in during this period because they cannot leave their vessel, they cannot go home, they cannot go up their vessel. So all these uh, add up. So we really need a team that are very strong to manage uh, all the logistic, the farm, and then uh, our Singapore side, yes. Uh, of course, uh, for those, uh, those are intended to come into this pig farming industry, of course, uh, you can sell locally or you want to export. Of course, locally, there are challenges, I always say. Export, another level of challenge, but uh, with uh, careful planning and then uh, with all the details uh, that you can get, like what we are doing now, of you probably uh, you can go into the industry and uh, make a good deal for yourself. Make a, you probably may have a good return if you're able to do it well. That's uh, my experience that I want to share with everybody today. Thank you.